Hi everyone. So let's start a, a session with hosting the website on a Windows virtual machine. In the previous videos, we have tried uh, hosting the website on Linux virtual machine, and this time we will try to do with uh, uh, a Windows virtual machine. So I'll go ahead and I'll create a, a Windows machine. So I went into a, uh, a line, uh, this virtual machine Azure portal and I'll stay, select the resource group win 01 and East US. I'll select the image here as the Windows Server 2019 data center and I'll choose spot instance here. Go for two core trainer. I'll just provide the credentials. and i'll go into the monitoring i'll disable the boot diagnostics i'll go to creating the virtual machine and once the validation is passed i'll go ahead and click on create so let's wait for a couple of seconds for the vm to get provisioned We see the machine has been deployed. Let us go to the machine and I'll copy the public IP address here. And I'll start searching for remote desktop session. So this app, uh, helps us to log in into RDP into the Windows machine. And I have to provide the credentials. So let me provide the credentials here. Trainer. India at the rate one two three four five six seven and so there am I inside the machine. So while I host the website, few things which I have to take care of is I have to go into the networking and I have to ensure I'm adding the inbound rule AT. into the security group and similarly uh, in the previous video I have just gone with the github template this is one of the good ones which we have on static websites so you can actually even uh, download this one zip file so I'll go inside this machine right now so a few things which we need to take care here is we need to uh, on the Windows IS so go to search for Windows feature and so add roles here okay it's taking certain time for this to show up and now here you choose the role based feature basis and next next and here we have is web server is so i'm gonna click on next i have to just install that so it's gonna take some uh two minutes for the installation to happen once the installation is happen uh, is is completed we can actually go into the browser and we should be able to see is uh, uh, website home page default page so it's still in the process but once we have it we should be in a position to see the default page of is So let's give uh, a couple of seconds.
might be because of the cookies it is still refreshing but yeah once the installation is complete you should be able to see the home page and meanwhile i'll go and copy this uh, file so what i can actually do is you can actually download the zip file from here and uh, meanwhile uh, i also tried uh, doing the same thing i extracted it and i'll make any of that uh, as the home page so here i'll go with another website uh, so i'll make this as compressed to zip file and i'll copy this zip file or you can do one more thing is you can actually copy all these files and you can go to this pc in the c, c drive in inet pub and www.root we can actually download that now if you refresh it we should be seeing that is home page because the installation has got completed and now let me download that uh, web pages so i'll delete this and i'll download the files to back to this so whatever files which i just copied from here I'm just uh, copying this uh, those files to this VDA and now if we go to this IS home page if I refresh I'll be able to see the home page so still the files are being copied and that's the reason why we have to usually go uh, with zip files i thought there are files which are main uh, just few files but yeah let's wait yes so now if you see there we have this web page so i recommend as uh, you are trying to take any website so make that uh, folder as a zip file copy that and extract that files in this uh, inetpub www.root and once you are there in this uh, you should be able to and delete the ies the previous web uh, pages which has ies start ss start so that uh, you will be able to see that website here so this is how we hosted one more website uh, similarly through uh, through the windows and in uh, stay tuned we'll try to host another website uh, on storage account and then we'll try to host another website on azure app service thank you guys